Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a portfolio or a one page website for yourself using a free Notion account. If you don't have a Notion account already, please sign up for one. It's free. I'm currently on a free plan right now and it will do. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you how to create your own website very quickly and with no coding skills whatsoever. Let's get started. The first thing I did was open a new page, a new empty page on Notion. I'm just going to give it my name. And we are going to continue with an empty template because we're going to keep it simple. Now, the first thing we want to add here is an image. There are two ways of adding images. The first one is the easier one where we want to add. We click on the plus button here and then we go down and click on image. Then we click on choose an image. I have one already and it gets uploaded. It's starting to upload as you can see the progress here. In the meantime, I want to add the heading. I'm going to say, hi, this is Wensi. And I want this text to appear on the right side of this image. So essentially, this block, I'm going to click and drag these six dots and drop it on the right side where you can see the blue line that pops up saying onto the right. So you want to drop it there. And when you drop it there, it gets resized automatically because now there are two columns and you can definitely drag the size of these columns in this way. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here. Now, I want this to be larger. I want it to be heading one. So I'm just going to click on turn into heading one. When see now, I, I think I already have some text from my website that I'll just copy paste for our reference. Now, if you want some space on top of this, you could just click and drag this uh, block on top and it gets um, reorganized in this way. Now from my website, I'm just going to copy paste a little bit of text just to make it easy since we already have some text there. And this is how it will look. I think this looks good. Maybe this can be turned into heading three. I think this looks nice. Yes, I think this looks good. Uh, so this is your hero content, which is like the first thing that people will see when they come on your website. The second thing could be um, maybe a little bit about yourself. So you want this to be a heading. So the easiest way to, uh, to, to write a heading would be forward slash H1 would be heading, heading one. And then we're going to say about me. And then enter and we're going to enter some text here. Something like this, maybe. Hmm, that did not get copy pasted well. I'm going to change this to heading two and probably change the color of this font. I'm going to select it and change the color of the font to gray, probably. And delete this text, delete this block. There's an additional block here that I don't like, so I can either delete it or bring it down. And this looks good.
I'm just going to bold it. All right, I think it's shaping up quite well. Next, we're going to add a work portfolio. So H1, we're going to call it my work. And we are going to add a portfolio. What's the easiest way of adding a portfolio? I'm just going to show it to you. First thing we'll do is add a table. It's as essentially a database forward slash table. Inline table will do. It's completely fine for now. We're going to say portfolio. And we're going to start entering the names of all the projects that we've worked on. And maybe the tags could be company name. So company one, company two, company three. All right. Um, we want some more data here because we're going to change the view in just a minute. So we're going to add some images to represent the projects that you've done as well. So image related to the project, and this is going to be a files column. Another thing we can add here is dates work. And this is going to be a date column. Let's add the dates first. Let's say in, in company one, we've worked from July 1st to end day July 31st of 2020. Project two, we work from August 1st to end date August 31st of 2020. And project three, we work from December 1st to end date December 31st of 2020. All right. So this, these are the dates that we want to give in a bit we're going to show this in a better form before that we want the images for all these three projects and the easiest way of doing this is if you already have images great otherwise just go to unsplash.com or any other image uh, free images repository that is that's your favorite one i like unsplash a lot so i'm just going to use a couple of these images I'll use one. This looks nice. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to say copy image address. Go back to our table. Click on add file. Click on embed link. Paste it. And it's done. It gets uploaded. It takes a few seconds. Next, I'm going to go back and choose another one. Maybe this for project number two. It's a vertical one, so it will get cropped, but I don't have a problem with that. Copy image address, embed link, embed link, and we're done. Next, we want one last image for project number three. Let's go with this cute dog right here. This will also get cropped because it's a vertical image, but that's okay. Copy image address, image, embed link, embed link and we're done so essentially this is your portfolio now we want to show this in a pretty way pretty format so what we're going to do is we are going to add a view to this table and we're going to convert it into a gallery we're going to cl click on create because it will create a new gallery view for us now because the default view is a table that is what is going to open so we're going to change this and bring it down now the gallery view beco becomes a first view by default otherwise we could just go here and click on delete and then there's only the gallery view that will be left now this is not very helpful so we're not very happy with this because it's all blank so what we do is we go to these three dots in order to customize this gallery and we click on properties of this gallery now the card preview is going to be the image of that card so we don't want the page content we want the file which is the image to be displayed as the image and then you can see that images are up now what is the card size these are medium size cards if it's small this is how it will look maybe this is good enough for you maybe 
you have like multiple projects and this is good uh, a compact view otherwise we go back to properties and click on large if it's large it's slightly larger i think it'll be better if you have another project here so it'll be four four projects and it's a nice symmetry now the last thing i want to do actually i want to do two things one is i want project one project two and project three to be displayed in that way so one one of the ways in which we can do it is go back i mean the, the simplest way is obviously just to reorganize it yourself manually if you want it to be done automatically go back to the table click on a new column and you say order make this a number we click on project one should be the first one and then project two should be the second one and then project three now we have the order here we can now go back to the gallery and ask it to sort it in that way so let's bring it back to the original order now we're going to go to properties click on sort add a sort where we want the order to be ascending the moment we do that it becomes project one two and three automatically the last thing i want to do here is show a few more details in each of these cards so i go back to properties and i want to show the name of the company that we worked at which is company one company three etc and i also want to show the dates that i've worked from until so this is this is all we want to show on portfolio and we have a very nice neat portfolio ready and every time you want to add something to this table just go back to the default view and just add a new column and start writing and add an image don't forget to add an image so the gallery view can get updated accordingly otherwise you can simply click on here click on new and then add something new from this view where you add the name of the project name of the company dates image order and so on now i'm going to quickly delete it we have three portfolio items in our work section then we can add a contact me form heading one contact me and i'm just going to mention thank you for your interest in my work you wish reach me on email at wednesday@gmail.com or through my social media handles now this looks good it's fine but i want to give the social media handles as well so i'm going to cre create a new block i'm going to drag that block and put it on the right and i'm going to say my instagram my twitter my facebook and i'm just going to adjust the column each of these will get a link click and drag link link to web page twitter twitter.com link to web page link to web page and we're done one thing you can do to customize these is just add a few emojis just to customize it a little bit
What's a good way to represent Facebook? People, user, person. Probably this. Okay. Just to add a little bit of character to stuff. I um, think this is pretty good. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to add a footer. I want to add a footer and I want to keep it simple. I want to say I want a divider to divide the page from from the rest of the body to the footer. So I'm going to say div, which is divider. And I have a divider here now. I'm going to say copyright. And see Krishna. All rights reserved. And I'm going to show you how I would center this. Essentially, I want to create two extra blocks. I'll add one block on the left here, the other block on the right. Now it's centered. But since it's, there's not enough space, I'm going to click and drag to make some more space and try to center it. I'm just eyeballing it at this point. And that's pretty much it. And we are done with a one page template of your own personal website. And all you have to do is click on share, click on share to web. If you don't want people to make a copy of this, stop them from duplicating by not allowing them to duplicate as a template and just copy this link and you are good to go. If, if, if you open it on a private browser, it'll look exactly like this, except you won't find this new block here. It will be empty, but everything else will be the same. So that's pretty much it from my side. I hope that you enjoyed this video, I really hope that you try to replicate this for yourself. And if you found this helpful, do let me know. Thank you.